Hi, this is Dave Butler. I'm at FanX 2017, and today I'm going to give you three tips for selling your book. Alright, so three tips for selling your book. And I'm telling you this because I'm a writer, I'm also an editor. I'm the acquisitions editor for Wordfire Press. I get pitched all the time, and I pitch all the time. Let me give you three tips. These are useful whether you are verbally selling your book, or whether you are writing a pitch letter, or, or any context in which you might sell. Tip number one is less is more. Look, your story is complex. There is a serious risk if you try and tell your whole story that you will bore or confuse your reader. Don't do it. Focus instead on a single strand, the strand you think is most likely to sell the book. Less is more. Here's my second tip. Focus on a character. Probably your world is really exciting. Probably the mystery is really, really interesting. And there are some times when you're gonna wanna use that to sell your story. But for most audiences, what sells a story is a character. So as soon as you possibly can, because remember, less is more. You don't want a lot of preface. You want to jump right in. This is a story about Bob. This is a story about Charlie. Focus on that character. Tell us, uh, tell us what that character wants more than anything else in the world and why they can't have it. And here's my third tip. When you're selling, uh, give us a choice and consequences. So tell us about that character and tell us something about uh, a dramatic choice they make or a decision they make that's gonna change their life. That means you probably introduce the character quickly and then say, here's a crisis that happens one day. Here's what they do about it. Now, if after that, the editor requests more or if the person you're talking to at the booth wants to hear more about your world or secondary characters, great. But to start, less is more, focus on a character, and show us a choice and a consequence. Okay, try it again. Hi, this is Dave Butler.